All right, fun with magnetic fidget toys. So the three colors are supposed to represent gravitational fields on Earth with the blue, on Mars with the orange, and on the moon with the silver. And as you can see here, that pretty much falls. This one's the slower, and that one's the slowest. So I'm gonna let all three of these go at the same time here. So what makes them work? All right, I'm gonna take apart the earth one first and so you can see what's inside. And I, got, I have a magnet here to help me get the other pieces out. There is a aluminum base that has a magnet that's embedded in that. And then there's aluminum sleeve, a cap, and then an aluminum tube, and there's a magnet in that. And I believe these, these magnets are only in here just to connect it to the base. But you can, as you can see here, it's just a straight tube. And that's pretty much that one. For the Mars one, there's a couple more magnets. So I'm gonna write down two for blue, the blue, Earth, and I'm gonna count up and see how many are in this one that's supposed to represent Mars. So far there's three, four, looks like there's one more in there. And so there's five magnets And the rest are aluminum pieces. You can tell this is a real magnet. And it's just the back plate of a computer. So I'm gonna put this together wrong to show something. The orientation of these magnets is north, south, north, south, north, south, north, south, north, south. And I'm just going to put them into the tube. base and put this piece on and this piece and here we go so I'm gonna put the earth one back together real quick and this just has the two magnets in it so it looks like these are this is falling about the earth speed that we had together earlier I believe these have to go in a little bit different orientation here. All right, I'll get the strong magnet to get these out. So normally what I do is I put one in like this, put the base on it. This one and just flip it over. 
So there's two inside of this. As you can see here, these are both falling at the same speed. So from everything I've kind of learned from taking these apart, it can't be in this type of orientation, north, south, north, south, north, south, north, south. It falls at the same speed. What I need to do is change the orientation of every other one to get that resistive effect from the magnetism and the aluminum moving in a, on that. So I'm just gonna take this apart real quick. Sometimes I have to take the top off. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. And it's a little tricky to get these back on, but it's not too bad. As you can see here, this is just some type of aluminum sleeve that's been milled to this. So I'll put that there. And when I put these in, I have to do, so we're going to go, instead of having the same orientation, we're going to do, uh, we'll just say that the top is north here, so we'll go north with that. I'm going to take these magnets off. Got this hard drive magnet here. And I want to flip it over, so I'm going against the bottom here. And then this, I have to flip it over again. And then I have to flip it over again. And it starts to become a little bit of a chore to get these in here. And then one here in the top Ooh. these will pop out I, I won't take apart the one that's made of the moon that took me half an hour to put it back together and I don't like to take these apart too much all right as you can see here it's back to the way it was so I'm gonna put that on this tray here and we'll do that again So, with the magnets in north, south, south, north, north, south, south, north. That's where it produces some type of eddy current that slows the resistance down. So, again, uh, this one has five magnets. This one has two, and they're just the, connected to the base. I can flip this upside down and it connects. So that's why there's two in this one. This one here has six. And so that's why I don't take it apart.